to physical education here. I teach over at Washington, and then I teach classes here. Um, but uh, when I was in college, I got the opportunity um, to work with Special Olympics. And so I really, really enjoyed it. And then my first job was for a short time. Um, I graduated in January, and I worked um, at Lamb's Farm, which is a facility out in Libertyville. It's uh, adults from 18 to 80, and I, I, I kind of ran their Special Olympics program and, and their physical education, their all that kind of program that they had there. And uh, that, was, that was a lot of fun, but I was always looking to teach in the school setting. It's been great. I've been here. I think this is my 13th year. It just seems like time goes flies by. I was involved when I, my first year. I taught between second grade at Central and then I taught at Washington, which was kindergarten at the time. I know that the kids can't physically be here and in the gymnasium, but the thing is, is what I'm doing is I'm doing live Zoom every single class session. And what we're doing is we're actually, I mean, I'm getting, we're working on, uh, take, you know, with our heart rate, working on um, with the older kids and they're taking their pulse and we're trying to get their heart rate up We're monitoring that and they're giving me a thumbs up if their heart rates up or a thumbs down Depending and sometimes it's intentional to go down because like when we stretch out or you know things like that But I'm trying to I'm trying to be as active as I can in those 30 minutes with them Because they only have gym 30 minutes a week and then what we do is a lot of times what we do is at the end of class the last minute or two we'll give them a link to go practice the skill so we do a lot of um, activity in the early and then the last few minutes of class we teach a skill and then what we want them to do is we want them to work on that skill towards uh, for the last for the week and then what we'll do is revisit it at the, the following week and talk about it and then do a new one but for the for the first 20 minutes 25 minutes we're actually really active in class so the kids are really moving and getting their heart rate up and and being as active as they can. So I tried to come up with some ideas. I came, I taught um, adaptive physical education over the summer. So what I tried to do is, is so try to have some things that they might have at home that we can use. So like I have a bucket, like a bucket at home. Uh, we have the bucket. Um, you could use a little garbage can, maybe one that's in your office or one um, that might be, you could use a um, laundry basket, you know, whatever you have available. And the sock ball, you can just take a socks and roll it up to make it a ball. Now we're using that to adapt to a lot of different uh, balls, whether we're using a tennis ball or a softball. We're just trying to teach them the correct skill using that if they do not have that type of equipment at home. Unfortunately, we've got close to 800 students here, so we can't send 800 balls home or 800 pieces of equipment, so we modify. So came up with that. Um, also, like when we were doing, like for volleyball, we were doing bumping and setting a balloon, you know, so if they had a balloon at home, we tried to work that, that's a lot of fun. So just try to make up things that we can find at home. Um, we did weightlifting with uh, two cans. So we tried to find two cans similar. I think I grabbed the two cre cream corn cans and we were working on lifting weights with, with the cans and, you know, different, different types of uh, weightlifting, using it, you know, lifting different weights and be as safe as possible. That's the biggest thing with the kids. I try to have them what we call our safe spot. So they're not, you know, they're not next to a couch or a chair or a table. And so they find their safe spot and we have a little bit of room. My, my biggest thing is, is just effort, try your best. I mean, participation for us is the biggest thing, especially on Zoom. So I tell them all the time, I said, just try your best and participate to your best ability. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll help you. We know you're not here, we'll help you with any skill that we're teaching. Um, we'll go over it when we come back, but just do the best that you can. Participate to your best ability. Um, I'll never be disappointed or upset if I see a kid out there and he's trying to do a jumping jack, but it's not the correct form or uh, exercise and not the correct form, but participate to your best ability. Give your best effort, try your best, because we only see each other for 30 minutes a week. We don't have them here, but when we're in, when we're in gym class, we really stress uh, teamwork and working together because that's something that they're going to have to do for the rest of their lives and um, that's one thing that we'll we'll work on when we do see them back whenever that might be but yeah definitely participation effort and then teamwork is another big big aspect I really say this I miss the kids and just like all our teachers and we'd love to see them back but we want to make sure everybody's going to be safe and, and in, a, in a good position
to the parents. Um, I've thanked them numerous times. The parents have been great during this whole time. Um, parents will jump in there and help out. So I'll give you an example. Uh, with my second and third grade, uh, we're doing sit-ups. And so the parents are in there holding their kids' feet and helping them. You know, when I tell them, I said, hey, if you feel free, if mom or dad's there, um, they're welcome to help you. I see some of the parents actually working out with it next to their kid. So I'm